I'm glad I didn't come Loaded out. I have to up. come out of the naked bike ride. That's all I'm going to say. So thank you so, for that. Uh, yeah, it was a wet well. one out there today, it huh? Was, yeah, it was pretty soggy, and it actually looks like it's going to end up even worse tomorrow. Mm. So this definitely looks like uh, it's just certainly a bad weekend for any kind of outdoor plans that you might have. I mean, some all people were clearly getting outside anyway, but there's more rain on the way, more to saturate the ground, and with the potential of some moisture from Florence at right. minimum, I worry about flooding down the road here. So let's talk about it. So earlier in the show, we mentioned that there is a flood watch that's going to be going into effect at 2 a.m. So it's not out yet, but you can understand why when you look at this very wide zoom on storm scan, right? There's a frontal boundary and like so many of its predecessors. It's getting stuck nearby, and this is remnant moisture from what's left of Gordon. This primarily bypasses us to the north and west, but the far north and western counties are going to get slugged with some pretty drenching rain into Monday, especially, but we are going to see fresh rounds of rain and some of it quite heavy coming through as we head into tomorrow and we'll get Get more into that in a second, but let's turn our focus to the tropics right now. Florence still a tropical storm, but this is expected to re strengthen as it works its way to the west. Even as early as Monday afternoon, it could be from a tropical storm right now to a major hurricane on Monday afternoon. So that is certainly one concern that we do have as this works its way to the west. And then with a large dome of high pressure off to the north, helping to squash this further to the south. That's why this is looking like an increase potential for it to end up as a landfalling hurricane and potentially a major one for especially the Carolina coast. But remember this cone that I mean anyone within that cone is a potential strike for this. So even as far north as say Virginia Beach, this is a possibility that you have to deal with a landfalling hurricane heading into the tail end of or at least the middle part of next week. Here's what we know with this storm. It's definitely going to re strengthen and we're thinking major hurricane status as it would be making a landfall should it do that. This is a very increased risk now, though, that it's going to hit the eastern seaboard primarily into the tail end of next week. For us, it is not time to panic, but because we don't have great weather, because you're probably not going down to the shore to enjoy great beach weather in the next day and a half or so, now's a good time to have your plan ready to go. You know, work on that. You can actually head to our website, cbsphilly.com. We have a whole section on how you can prepare should there be a hurricane. And again, there's no guarantee, but they, of course, better safe than sorry. Now's the time to be thinking about this, but you know, this is the time of the season where we are peaking. September 10th is the peak of hurricane season and here wouldn't you know you're a day or so away from that. So and it's certainly not uh, any surprise that we do have uh, a lot of activity going on in the tropics right now. In fact, Helene and Isaac also formed. Now let's talk about forecasted rain amounts heading into tomorrow. We could easily be dealing with one to possibly three inches of rain, my friends. So again, understandably a flood watch is in effect and there are also so coastal flood concerns that come with this throughout the rest of the weekend. There are regional alerts in place here, warnings, watches and advisories. So lots of pretty shades of green on that map there. A quick peek at Cape May. Yeah, kind of dreary out there right now, guys. And I'll quickly show you that seven day. I would say that the earliest we have any kind of potential worries about Florence would be tail end of next week. In the meantime, it's just very dreary tomorrow as well as Monday. And then it does start to heat back up again. And we know you will be busy keeping eyes on it. Absolutely. Absolutely, All we right. will. Kate.